Mother's Day is upon us, a holiday where us moms typically receive sticky painted handprint crafts from our kids, some flowers, maybe some chocolates, and if we don't, we simply partner shame our husbands into doing it. Today we're going to be hearing from a creator and partner shamer named Haley Raleigh, who has a lot to say about how moms are treated on Mother's Day. So before we even start this video, you can see from the watermarks that it has been deleted and then re-uploaded already. If we scroll down just a little bit and read the caption, it says, deleted because I felt like I was being dramatic, but the drama still stands, so we're back. I guess to imply, oh, well, because there's drama between my husband and I anyway, I might as well just keep perpetuating it on the internet. Here's what Haley has to say. Okay, I'm kind of about to call out all men, sort of, so if that's gonna trigger you or bother you, move along. Oh boy. I don't really care, just letting you know. Okay. So Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, and I'm a mom of one-year-old twin girls. My nice. older sister is a mom. My mother is the mother of us two and our two other siblings. Yeah. And I was FaceTiming my mom and sisters last night, and we are planning Mother's Day dinner. So we're deciding what we're going to eat, what time it's going to be. I'm bringing a food assignment. Oh my boy. sister's bringing a food assignment. My mom's preparing the main meal. Food assignment. Why is it this way? Why can men not be better than this? And yes, I love my husband. He's a great guy. He's really trying. I actually think he's trying and we're like progressive. We're like working on this, but yet still like this is how it is. And my husband's on a work trip right now. My mom's husband, my stepdad like tore his ACL, whatever. There's like maybe reasons. Oh, what? I, I guess there's like maybe reasons, like maybe excuses I guess you could have. Like Haley, have you ever torn your ACL? Simple question, because tearing your ACL is one of the more traumatic injuries you could have, and you're mad that your stepdad isn't hobbling around the kitchen in your stead right now? As if there's nothing else they could possibly do besides take on your food assignments? But if I was on a work trip or my mom tore her ACL, we would still probably be planning it, especially if it was Father's Day. Okay, quick sidebar here, but I think it's really disingenuous that she implies here that, now I don't know if she's speaking about herself individually, she didn't seem super confident, she said she only probably would still be doing things for Father's Day, but what she's doing here is trying to make it seem as though women majoritively care more about Father's Day than men care about Mother's Day. And the numbers don't really actually agree with you on that. Like, there's no way to actually measure the emotional effort put into these holidays that I'm aware of. But we do have consumer spending reports. I've actually got the spending reports pulled up by holiday in the United States right now. Mother's Day is in third place with 25 billion being spent annually, and Father's Day is pretty far behind at 16 billion. Meaning people spend six billion more dollars a year on Mother's Day than Father's Day. That aside, let's get back to the video. So frustrated right now because I feel like not only do women bear so much more of the emotional labor, women also have to bear the emotional labor on behalf of other women when their men and their lives don't show up for them, right? So like, do they I know if my stepdad to? doesn't do something for my mom for Mother's Day, I have to step in and do something even more because he's not like taking care of her. And my mom knows if my husband's gonna drop the ball on Mother's Day, then she wants to like take care of me because we want to take care of each other and we want each other to be happy. This is kind of the weird part about the video for me because the way that she's talking is she's making it sound like it's not her job to do things for her mom on Mother's Day. And that in actuality, Mother's Day is a day that husbands are supposed to be spoiling their wives. And that's a whole debate in and of itself. I'm curious to hear what you guys think in the comments. I personally have always treated Mother's Day as a day that the children do things for their own mothers. It is nice for husbands to do things for the women who became mothers for them. And I do see that, I think it's special. But overwhelmingly, I think that the point of the holiday is for you to celebrate your own mother. And everything else is really just nice. 
but I think she's kind of scooting out of her own responsibility to her own mother. I, maybe you should be looking inward and asking yourself why you and your sister are letting your mom cook the main meal instead of offering to take over that at least instead of blaming your husband and stepdad. Or at least all blaming each other. And it's so frustrating to me, like, I know that men, I'm not saying they're bad or like not trying, but like, but it just upsets me that it's this way. And I just like don't know. I'm sorry, I'm crying at the worst crying voice. And also if you're gonna be like, why do people film themselves crying? Like, go away. I know, you're not like, sorry. I know it can be better You're than doing this. this on purpose. It's just, I don't think like I can emphasize enough how much of this emotional labor women carry and trying to like work Don't worry. to like get my husband to understand this and the other men in my life like that's labor in and of itself and sure we could just ask him to do it but that's also labor like oh okay so here's my big question what have men in your life done for you for mother's day is it honestly nothing because in this video, we never get that answer. We definitely know what they're not doing. They did not plan any meal assignments. They, they dropped the ball on that one, and that is apparently what you wanted. What she does reveal is that he is trying. What does that look like? What does the trying look like? What does he try to do for you for Mother's Day? If it's not what you want, does he know what you want? Do you honestly think that it's labor to tell your husband what you want? I mean, do you honestly believe that he's not giving you what you want because he knows exactly what you want and he's just doing it to spite you or something? Or is it more likely that he honestly believes that you like cooking with your mom and sister all day in addition to the things that I know these men are definitely doing for you, even though you've completely left that out? Are you mad that your husband and men in totality are failing you? Or are you mad that you have to do any labor at all on Mother's Day? Because I often feel that that is the real gist of it. It's not necessarily that we're mad at our partner for not doing the specific thing. We're mad that we have to do anything at all and we're always inherently looking for someone to blame. So I actually did ask this user if it's true that her husband really does nothing and she didn't respond. Hey, maybe she didn't see it, very likely. Or maybe she knows that if she responded in earnest, it would make her look very selfish and entitled for demanding more than she's already getting. I say this all because I definitely stalked her social media that she links directly in her TikTok videos, and this dude takes her to like Prague and France all the time. Now don't worry, of course we get the just kidding we're fine video. Cause it wouldn't be partner shaming without reallocating the blame for our own behavior. Called out this man on the internet yesterday, but he took me on a date night and did a fit check with me anyway. See? I didn't do anything wrong because he's still dancing with me. Caption is, just kidding, we talk about navigating gender roles in our marriage frequently and we're getting better all the time. Utah couple, married young couple. So we're doing a lot of damage control in the comment section here. I hope he keeps it up without a viral call out. Your partner, you deserve an equal load. LOL, I was being silly about that part. I think the joke is getting very lost on people. We do date nights once a week. So that whole video was just a silly joke. You were just being a silly little goose as you cried on camera. And it's so frustrating to me. Like Weird joke, my guy. You didn't call him out. You were voicing your confusion and hurt. If that made him realize something, that's a lesson. Girly, I was just being facetious. I was just being silly, but it seems it didn't translate. You know how it is when you're just being a silly, funny little goose doing a silly jokester joke, so you just start openly weeping emotionally on camera. Now this is where she shows her true colors. Victoria comments very reasonably in reaction to this video. Hopefully he also planned something for Mother's Day for you and didn't leave it up to you to figure out. To which Haley responds very snarkily, LOL, yeah, we talked about it, and he did. You can move right along, I got it, thanks. <laughs> Bitch, I love Victoria immediately puts her in her place. You literally put a whole video out, so the upset and crying about how you had to plan everything for yourself, 
I didn't mean anything disrespectful, just hoping it works out is all. <laughs> but that's always what they do. Accountability? Who is she? It's your fault that this was received poorly. Not mine. I was making a silly joke. Now, as per usual, when the original Just Kidding We're Fine video doesn't have the reception they wanted to, they typically try for round two. I am just coming up for air and have a few more things to say about the Mother's Day video heard around the world. I'm really, really grateful to be so seen and heard and validated by so many of you. And I'm super sad that this is such a common experience. It really bums me out but I don't think it serves any of us to suffer in silence and to feel isolated in this. And that's why I chose to share. And I'm glad it could open up a dialogue and a, a space to talk about it. I was worried. You martyr. Large assumptions about myself and my husband and my marriage. And that has definitely been the case. Yep. There are people telling me my marriage is a sham. My yeah. husband's a terrible person. Mm -hmm. I'm delusional and stupid and mm -hmm. I enable this bad behavior. I should get a divorce. It's not yeah, fun, that's what but I think the really sad thing to me about that is those comments are why women feel the need to maintain a facade of perfection around their relationships. There it is. Because if they do open up about these really significant issues and major points of dysfunction, that is what a lot of people are going to say to them. She's not the first partner shamer to try this martyrdom tactic. Everyone who's telling us not to talk about our personal private issues publicly is just trying to silence women. I'm saving women by doing this. Stop. Just stop it. I, I have the no bottle. I will use the no bottle. Because there is a healthy balance that you can find where you can find healthy, reasonable third party resources that you can talk through your issues about without compromising the integrity of your relationship to the mass public. It's not like the only two options you had were suffer in silence or air my husband's dirty laundry to the world. And while she alleges that he consented to this being posted, Something in my bullshit detectors tells me that no, there was no discussion had before she posted that original video. Now afterward, when it went viral and she realized someone would probably show it to him, yeah, I bet that is when she told him. My husband is very actively working on this. If he wasn't, I would leave him, but he is very willing to put in the work. We are going to couples therapy together. He's doing his own therapy. He Why is this our business? I do not accept his behavior. <laughs> I do not justify it. I do not accept it. I deserve better. I know that he knows I that. I deserve better. Do I wish and he that, knows that knowledge that. could lead to a change overnight? The way women just casually say this shit about their husbands on the internet, which like I can just tell, I already know if her husband ever went on TikTok and made a video saying, I deserve better than my wife, and she knows that. That would be disgusting. That would be so disgusting. And yet why is it so difficult for anybody to recognize that this is kind of equally disgusting? I do. Unfortunately for us, that has not been the case. It is requiring resources and tools and conversations. And I shared a low point along this journey that we're on. Mm. And to be judged off of that feels really unfortunate when <laughs> there is... Are you kidding me right now? To be judged for sharing my private, personal business publicly to all of the internet, just, it just feels so unfortunate. Like, that's so weird. I have a feeling that if it was your husband dragging you for a low point in your marriage, you might have a little bit of judgment yourself. Toward writing this really unequal, problematic dynamic. I don't know. I just think it's reductive and unproductive to shame women who are willing to talk about this and to make You're the so issue brave. so black and white. Again, oh, we're yes, the ones it's making black, it black and white, and white. But his behavior is unacceptable. It. But there's so much context, and to assume you know everything about someone's marriage based on the low point that they're willing to share is unfair. Women can and should expect better, and I do, but it can be a process, and we're in the thick of it. How can you be mad at me when I was so brave and willing to share this vulnerable moment of my husband being a piece of shit? So you honestly got on TikTok and told the world that your husband doesn't do 
anything for you for Mother's Day. You have to do it all. And you expected a healthy, productive conversation where people give your husband the benefit of the doubt? Is this your first day on the internet, ma'am? Look, I understand that some women honestly do get shafted on Mother's Day, and that sucks, but this approach, the whole trying to publicly humiliate and shame him into doing better on Mother's Day, is embarrassing for both of you, and that's why you're receiving the judgment that you are. People on the internet believe what you tell them. They don't know about all the international trips you've taken, of the sweet, tender moments, of the sacrifices and commitments he's made for you. You simply told them that you have a husband who doesn't do anything for you for Mother's Day, and you have a stepdad who doesn't do anything for your mom for Mother's Day, and now you're mad that they believed you. <sighs> Well, I hope you feel like an absolute hero and that your Mother's Day is absolutely everything you partner-shamed your way into. Have a good one.